working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. People think of Goodwill as the place to find good bargains or where you donate things you no longer need. But the Goodwill in Tacoma is earning a reputation for free fitness programs. Problem solver Connie Thompson says don't expect treadmills or dumbbells. No, not here, Dan Mary. This class is all about financial fitness, and it's a tactic for tough times that everyone can afford because it's free. So does anyone have questions? This is day one of a 16-hour class where the only subject is money. It's money that you set aside that you are going to save. For most of the students, it's the first real exposure to personal money management. We cover everything from banking to account management. Um, we get into goal setting. For the next eight weeks, they'll learn what banks and credit card companies don't tell you when they offer those credit card accounts. They'll learn how to get out of debt, control their spending, improve their credit scores. Tacoma Goodwill started the program to help employees and quickly saw the need was far greater. So three years ago, the store most people think of for bargain buys and charity donations expanded the financial literacy classes to the general public for free. We've had tons of people really work on improving their credit score and paying off debts and really getting organized. It was managing me. My debt was managing me. Latasha Smith found out about the classes last year. She was skeptical. <laughs> I thought, okay, it's free. What's the catch? You know. Today, she's paid down her school loans and sticks to a plan. It's exciting because I know where I am. I know where I am today. It's, you know, um, I know how much I have coming in, how much I have going out. And now she's one of the program's um, biggest cheerleaders, and she yeah, has plenty of company. Since the classes went public, nearly 2,000 people in 15 counties have learned to manage their debt instead of letting debt manage the them. Tacoma Goodwill gets help and funding and education support from local banks, businesses, government agencies, and nonprofit organizations in our area. The youngest graduate is 15 and the oldest is 88 years old, and the classes fill up very quickly. I'm going to put more information and links to the consumer page of Comonews.com. Great Good idea. Program. Is it only in Tacoma? No, it's not just in Tacoma. However, I haven't found any that are right in the Seattle area, Tacoma, Ellensburg, Yakima, um, and they do it in a lot of different foreign languages languages, too, for people who have uh, second language mm -hmm. issues, uh, but a very good program. More and more companies are trying to get involved in doing this because it's so needed. It's one of the ways we got into the debt that got us in this mess. Thank you very You're much, welcome. Connie. Coming up next, an aerobics class.